Princeton researchers have been tapped to help answer some basic questions about energy alternatives for the future, such as how to process and burn fuels like biodiesel more efficiently. The U.S. Department of Energy is pumping $20 million into a Princeton-based Energy Frontier Research Center on combustion. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan revs up for this report on a hot topic. Out of 46 newly funded energy research centers, the only one focusing on the basic science of burning fuels is based at Princeton's engineering school. Several faculty members here, together with their students and postdoctoral fellows, will be collaborating with colleagues at institutions including MIT, Stanford, and Cornell. Center co-director Emily Carter asserts that no matter what other energy sources are developed, we'll still need new kinds of liquid fuels. When people talk about producing fuels for, from biomass, that's only one part of it. You have to produce the fuels, but you also have to know, you know, can you actually manufacture them in a way and maybe change their, their chemistry to some degree um, to, to optimize the energy content. Uh, the fundamental chemistry of how those molecules behave at high temperatures, how they burn, is not well characterized. And so these are the kinds of things we need to understand in order to, to really be able to optimize and make them as efficient and clean burning as possible. Among the assets here are labs equipped to experiment with different fuels under varying conditions. There's a key role for more theoretical work as well. Carter herself is a professor in two departments, with courtesy appointments in two more. The work I do uh, tries to make no assumptions other than the basic laws of physics that govern how atoms interact with one another. The other people in, in, the, in the program will be working on everything all the way from molecules where I live up to engine design to make more efficient engines. For years, she says, the Energy Department has enlisted thousands of researchers in national brainstorming on such challenges. And now, thanks in part to federal stimulus legislation, many proposed projects are being funded. We all want to help make the globe uh, sustainable in terms of its, of its energy and clean in terms of its energy. And, and scientists are extremely enthusiastic about doing this. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Princeton.